Tapia investing more in the body in these early rounds. Right hand was blocked by Romero. Crowd loved it, but it was right onto the glove. Romero knows exactly what he's doing with these paints. He goes down low, up high, and he creates a lot of muscle tension in Tapia, so he's better be careful. This guy is sizing him up for something big. Romero is sizing him up. Tells you something about youth boxing in Albuquerque. Look at how well schooled both fighters are. Both have an excellent left jab. That was a left hand, left right combination. By Romero. By Danny Romero. Best combination of this round for Romero. Tapia again digging the left hook to the body. Continuing to counter inside. As Romero comes at him, Romero trying to block that Tapia left hook with his right elbow. And Johnny nods for the crowd as he comes back to the corner. Keep moving him around. No, keep moving him around. Okay, no, keep. keep moving him around. You're swinging your right hand. Okay, I thought it's not working. Okay. You might need to go like that. Okay. Keep moving him around. No? He's already starting to step down. Yeah. Keep, keep two steps on him, huh? Okay. Main step back, back B, all right? And then the jab, and then your right hand behind it. Double and triple your jab and take that right hand behind it. All right? I like that right uppercut stepping over, baby. You'll knock him out with it. But keep digging that belly. Keep digging that belly. As I said earlier, Tapia is an underrated boxer. He's picking his spot. You see as he goes to the body there. And so far, his aggression has been very well under control which is the secret to his success in this fight. In the first two rounds, by CompuBox numbers, Johnny Tapia landing more power punches than Danny Romero, and you can see that Harold Letterman gives the early going to Tapia. Joining us now at ringside, world welterweight champion Oscar De La Hoya. And Oscar, what a brilliant exhibition of boxing skills in the first two rounds by these fighters. It's a beautiful exhibition. These two fighters were made for each other. Johnny Tapia right now is fighting a very smart fight. He's sticking and he's moving. Right now, Daniel Romero, he's uh, trying to land that big bomb. But once he tries to throw those punches, Daniel Romero is out. I mean, I'm sorry, Johnny Tapia is going away. So he's fighting a very smart fight. Do you think that Tapia can continue to neutralize Romero's power? If he keeps his calm and cool and stay collective up in that ring, he will beat Daniel Romero. And the crowd once again getting on the bandwagon for Tapia. Now that's the first time we saw Romero respond to one of Tapia's faints. That's not a good sign. And Tapia, who, as you pointed out, was countering mostly in the second round, now starting to initiate some of these exchanges. Well, and he starts with good faith. That's great for an experienced fighter. Tapia able to land the jab. Romero missing a little bit short. Johnny Tapia exploiting Romero so far, almost as though he has a reach advantage in there. The tail of the tape doesn't so say, say so. But Tapia able to land. Romero short with his punches, Oscar. He's uh, using moves that I've never seen before, that I haven't seen from Johnny Tapia, and he's doing very well. At this point right now, he's doing perfect. Great footwork by both fighters, but again, particularly Tapia. Yes, definitely. Uh, Johnny Tapia has been working in the gym. He's been working hard, and he's been learning in the gym, which is uh, supposed to be the right thing to do when you're a world champion. Yeah. Well, the great sign about what Tapia is doing here is that he wants to win so badly that he's controlling the emotions that normally get out of control in the ring. But exactly, he's keeping his calm and his, and his cool. He wants to make sure that he wants to give a good performance, but at the same time, win this fight. He wants to, he wants to please the crowd, but he wants to please himself. He wants to, he wants to show that, that he is a good boxer, not only a brawler. In case you've just joined us, Johnny Tappy in the black trunks, Danny Romero in the gold, Oscar De La Hoya joining George Foreman and Larry Merchant and myself, Jim Lampley at ringside. Third round of this 115-pound world championship between the two fighters from Albuquerque, New Mexico. Tapia is doing a little smile and maybe a little overconfident because, believe me, he's playing with fire here. He better win and be serious about it. Romero going back to trying to establish his jab, which seemed to be part of the plan in round number one. You heard his dad telling him between the second and third round that he ought to dispense with the looping right. Tapia lands a hard right hand counter as the third round comes to a close and celebrates by leaping into the air. Another huge round for 
Robert Tapia. That right hand left hook to the uh, right hand of the body left hook and knock his ass out. Set him up for it with a one-two. One-two pull out and come back to the body left hook. He's going to be a faint now too. He's scared. He's going to be a faint. You look good, son. In and out, box this guy and have some fun. We with look good, not you just me, us. You own him, son. Listen, you own Johnny. him. Okay. Oscar. All right, Oscar, you've had some inner city rivalry. Gennaro Hernandez, uh, Ruelas. Right. What is it like? I mean, do you feel almost too excited at the beginning of the fight and that has to wear off? Well, you feel excited because, you again, you want to please the crowd, your hometown crowd. You know, Albuquerque right here is in the house and he's trying to please the crowd. But after a few rounds, after the maybe fifth, sixth round, he'll, he'll, he'll try to slow it down and try to focus on his game plan, try to win this fight. Hey, how about this crowd, Oscar? You got a huge reception and you were introduced at ringside before the fight. This is as energizing a crowd as we've heard in a long time. Every time I go to Albuquerque, the crowd is just amazing. I mean, they uh, I feel that they love me over there, and it's a beautiful crowd. You ought to fight there sometime. One day we will. All right, Oscar, thanks very much for joining us. Thank you very Pleasure much. Pleasure to have you here, as always. We'll look forward to seeing you September 13 against Hector Mato Tomato. I will be there, and I will be ready. <laughs> on BBKO. Happy Alanza left hook to the body. Crowd going wild. Romero seeming to try to get in closer in this round. Mick Halpern pulls him apart to try to prevent any budding. Danny Romero attempts to close the space between himself and Johnny Tapia. Yeah, that was a little holding that a lot of people couldn't see. Unnatural things going on, so don't make too much of that. But with Romero stepping in closer, now that right hand looping across the top begins to land. In the first three rounds, Johnny Tapia landing power punches at twice the rate of Danny Romero. So Romero has got to close the gap and make his physical presence felt in the fight. Well, Tapia's done, done a lot of good fighting so far in the ring. If the fight goes round for round, he's better be willing to hold this tiger off. Tapia continues to dig to the body with the left hook, hoping to sap Romero's strength as they go toward the later stages of the fight. And he, it looks like he's establishing his will in the fight now. The first couple of rounds, Romero was establishing his will. Things have changed. You go to a corner with a young fighter, 23 year old, and you tell him, listen, the fight doesn't want in the first couple of rounds. Get ready and pull this thing out. Tapia is starting to establish a stiff left jab. That's something Jesse Reed was working on him with at the training camp up at Big Bear. Commit to the jab, drive it through the head of the opponent. Well, seldom you see these guys using a stiff left jab other than Oscar De La Hoya. But yeah, Oscar commits yeah. to it. Oscar's got the best stiff left jab in the business now. Better than yours, George? I believe so because he can throw so many more. <laughs> Change at the end of the round, a couple of jabs from Herrero followed by a very good straight right hand. Tapia tries to show that it didn't bother him, probably did. And then he comes back, wrestles him, and 